Good morning, folks. Lots of excellent links today. Be sure to check that list below the video so you can go find some of these items on your own. Let's begin, however, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, where we find the last 24 hours on our star were somewhat uneventful. Surface warp and surge, bottom right, departing southern quadrant. Couple ripples near the incoming northern sunspot as well. Nothing scary, though, with those same plasma filaments incoming and taking my attention in terms of eruptive potential on our star towards the weekend. Solar flaring remains abysmal, descending down into A-class range, the lowest energy flares, and we have the lack of sunspot activity to thank. Small umbra, sparse, and spread, with no prayer of magnetic mixing right now. Solar wind here, little density wave in orange was followed by a rise in speed, the purple, up to a plateau that's just now coming down. It briefly caused some geomagnetic instability, but nothing even moderate in intensity. Weak stream. Of course, we could have some more from the coronal hole, also likely arriving here towards the weekend. Disaster Prediction app sent the magnitude 6 quake watch last night based on the coronal holes, and indeed, we've got a brief warning period here that is kicking up as slow, modest rumble swarms. The largest by far was in the southern Philippines, Celebes Sea towards Banda. And that region is indeed on alert and has been for more than a day now. Lots of signals persisting still, but with volcanoes beginning to release pressure, Earth spots racing at New Zealand and blood echoes striking Japan, it could be spreading out throughout the day. Top stories here, starting with an amazing space debris video by the ESA. They discuss how much is up there, the problems it presents, and what they might be able to do about it. One piece was especially entertaining the satellite version of Mortal Kombat's Scorpion Get Over Here move. Geez, you guys heard of magnets? Anyway, a very nice piece popped up on Archive about the magnetic interactions between host stars and planets. A lot of familiar, smile-making imagery in there for electric theory enthusiasts, including some I hadn't really seen before. Last but not least, the great cold spot of Jupiter. The first direct detection of aurora-driven meteorological patterns on another planet. We've seen them here on Earth, but there on Jupiter, this storm has likely sustained itself for thousands of years. What a strange world. All I can say weather-wise today is best to everyone in New Zealand. I am glad I'm in the high desert right now. One of the links in today's list is to the photo album for Observing the Frontier 2017. Looks like we got pictures of hundreds of you guys, the speakers, volunteers, and more. We'll have more coming from OTF every day for a while, so stick around. We've got the rest of the pressure and radar forecasts and shots of our star to close. It's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.